Hi, today's section we are going to see how we can configure a SAML for ZBA administrators. Here, IDP is Okta, and we are going to configure the administrators on the IDP and integrate it with ZBA users. Let's jump in and see how we can configure the administrators. Uh, in IDP and integrated with Zscaler ZBA portal. So let's go to administration, IDP configuration and click add IDP. Enter a name, you can give uh, any name, whatever you would like to have. I'm just uh, given the name as ZBA beta SSO and this is only for admins and enable itsecurity.com as a domain and click next. Once you enter uh, next, you could see service provider URL and service provider entity ID, which is mandatory to configure with Okta. Let's jump in and create an application in Okta. Add application. Create new applications, uh, SAML 2.0, uh, click create. Here also you can name it anyway. So I'm just naming it um, ZBA beta SSO. If you have any images uh, for the company specific identifier, you can give those uh, logos. Otherwise you can click next. So enter the sign on URL, so which is nothing but service provider URL. You can copy this and paste it here and enter the entity ID. So this, this is nothing but uh, entity ID mentioned in this uh, URL. Just enter the entity ID here. Go down and specify the NMID format is email address. So keep everything same. Just click next. I'm an Arcta customer adding normal library. This is an internal app that I have created. Click finish. Go to assignments. You can assign um, this to one person. Uh, let me assign it to the administrator. You can assign a number of persons or groups who are at maybe act as an administrator for this particular application. Then goes to sign on. Here there is an entity um, provider uh, identity provider metadata. You can save the identity provider metadata on your uh, desktop. The identity provider metadata will have certificates, entity ID, and the SSO URLs. You can use those uh, to configure. Let me. Uh, yeah, desktop metadata hyphen data beta zb beta dot xml so go to zba then click next select the metadata file which you downloaded from the IDP open so when you download upload the metadata file you could see the IDP certificate, sign on URL, and the entity ID are auto populated. You can keep this configuration and click save. Okay. Then goes to administration, administrators, and create a administrator, reference administrator. Let me 
delete i have already created the administrator so you could see administrator name as uh, email id and phone numbers etc are configured there are, are options to configure the passwords as well passwords is not necessary to be same as the idp or i2 uh, directory passwords you can just keep any passwords but passwords and confirm passwords should be same so we are not going to use anywhere these passwords we are only going to use uh, SAML um, SSO, the passwords will be anywhere in the IDP or the uh, Active Directory. Okay, let's go to um, IDP once again and go to General. Here you could see a URL which URL is used to, to authenticate. So just go down here, there is no URL. You know, just copy that URL, click and open a new incognito window and yeah this will redirect to a login prompt you can just log in with your username and passwords whichever is uh, assigned with uh, on your uh, idp uh, <laughs> It's redirecting to ZPA beta after authentication. Yeah, the new uh, portal has been opened with a username as Ramesh Money at itsecurity.com. So here, let me showcase you one more thing. If you are not created a local user, let me delete this user and showcase you how uh, the things will get changed. Okay, I'm using the same um, uh, login um, URL. So the application is authenticated and is redirecting to the service provider. Service provider prompting the error message like your username or password does not match our records. So that means there should be a reference for that username in a service provider. The password is not mandatory to same password. You can give any password, but the password and confirm password will be same. But nowhere we are not going to use that uh, service provider passwords. Uh, we, we will use only the IDP username and passwords will be the password which is configured on the Active Directory and IDP. Thank you for watching.